Why do you not like Ashwin in class eight? What was what was the thing? I thought he's he he talked too much. Oh yeah. And I never spoken to him. So ever. this is a side that people don't really know about him, right? Yeah, yeah. This it's is like, a he's such a batsman on a what batsman? Even his wife of eight years. I still can't read it when I'm getting set up. Ah. So I I know exactly what ticks people off, and I do that ah. for a while. So you like that? You yes, like you like knowing he the honor? He knows He knows me like in and out, right? So he knows that. what annoys me. What is what is Why life without I? entertainment? Should I keep mm. pleasing her all the time? It is not. It's boring. Like after 20 years, she will feel that I lived with the most interesting person on earth. We should do the show 20 years later, <laughs> and I'll still be like, I still don't like him. <laughs> yeah, that's a great thing, isn't it? Like, what's the point of living with people that agree with you and say yes all the time? There's no use. <laughs> Uh look at that scoreboard which matches this. This has to be the broad hat trick game, right? This is a game where I think Bell was recalled as well. That run out one. Yeah. That's uh that those are not two words that you want to hear, right? You've been hearing a lot of those, right? Which one? In the last few if the last few months. Actually it's out. not bothered me at all to be honest. That's a, <laughs> And if know, I said that <laughs> people would actually judge me for that. No, but it shouldn't, right? You you did what you thought is right did you did it surprise you though the amount of debate that happened everybody just got so fired Actually, up for like the night i called i went for the press conference and called my wife and she said you don't want to look at social media tonight I said yeah sure i didn't look for the next 10 15 days actually to be honest but that's good right you don't know the echo chamber and i did Fine. get i did get a few people calling me and saying i think you did the right thing that includes kapil dev and murli yeah. karthik and all of them they said i think you were perfectly right you don't have to worry about what people are having to say because they're having to say it because of so and so reasons yeah i'm actually a very sensitive person Uh, I'm quite emotional as well, but it's just that I can I have the ability when it comes to the game to actually keep all these things aside and just be a very very fierce competitor. But you know, I feel it does prick me when people like tomorrow as, as a imagine as a youngster you want to play for the country. Everybody when they pick up a bat or a ball wants to be a Sachin Tendulkar one day just picking up the bat and playing for the country or a Sunil Gavaskar depending on the era that you are in. So I'm just giving you examples. Yeah, of course. Or could be a Nasir Hussain just to go across the country. It could be a Shane Warne. All these guys are. heroes that i've seen growing up and when they have a point of view on what you've done it it will have an impact of course uh, so having an impact or giving a year to it and having an having somebody comment on what you're doing it's all great when you when you can actually take something positive that's being said i think you have to have the resolve to take what's coming your way in a negative fashion and if it like i said look i believed what i do and who i am are two different things so that doesn't give an opportunity for anybody to character assassinate me that's it would uh, aggressive be a good adjective for you aggressive on field yeah as a cricketer if i walked on the road i would want to win every day yeah. just going there and yeah i should win today my team should win today it was yeah. about competing right from that age competitive is a better word than aggressive no i mean it's there is there's nothing wrong in being aggressive uh, without I mean, aggressive yeah. ms msd is aggressive yeah he is he's very aggressive of and it's just, he is. and it's just about it's just about showing it in a different it's emoting it's emoting what you are everybody has got their own character right so uh Virat is like, मार दूँगा, फोड़ दूँगा, right? MS is like the ocean, right? He's given nothing, nothing away, he gives yeah. nothing. You did you realize once in a while you used to go into disappointed parent in the last over especially you would get the बोलते फिर से फेल हो गए एग्जाम में sure I mean सब कुछ दिया तुमको it's great isn't it like every every captain needs to entertain the fan in a certain fashion yeah, at least we have <laughs> at least we have the ability to do it uniquely from each other so it's So who do you really enjoy talking cricket with like just talking about the game and deep diving I make a lot of mistakes you know yeah. <laughs> I talk to just anybody and everybody about the game and Don't uh, take this billion cricket experts in India seriously no, I mean, huh <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily the uh, the critics out there Guy on the road but it's not like I call up someone and actually ask them hey look today I didn't know what x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 that's what? not what I do it Say that again so, which one what do you say x I don't call someone and say he is an astronaut. This is <laughs> this is the equation or this is the sum and I don't know the answer for this. So the misconception of you doing a lot of analysis probably exists as a bit of racial profiling because you're an engineer. Right? It's like engineer has a lot of study kar raha hoga. Pakka padhai karne ka sochte hain. I have a lot of questions to ask. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I I believe I'm not uh, I don't know I I don't believe I'm an extremely talented or a extremely uh, very very good cricketer somebody who's extremely skillful mm. uh, like like for example if you take virat or rohit they are like born natural talents with yeah. the game i i don't belong to that segment actually i i belong to the other segment where my cricket is relied on method 
Nice. Uh, so uh, there are there are two ways to it, but I think Virat applies a lot of method to his talent as well. Yeah. Uh, MS is the one that actually first taught me about it, saying, "Look at the top of the mark at the run up, you should have five six options in your hand, such that you're not searching for answers." Wow. And that's a very deep deep line that he gave me, but it's true because there have been times in the game when I'm actually under the pump. I know I need a certain certain answer, but I don't know how to get it. Yeah. So I just used to write it down sometimes, so that because I had to change formats between Test, ODI, and T20. Yeah. So uh, getting back into the T20 mode, I needed to sometimes refer to it what I did and what I don't. Sometimes yeah. because if you go into the game, you could be found wanting, and it'll take you two three games to come back. So do you do that? Is your do you like sometimes sometimes is yes. it like dear diary or it's <laughs> not dear diary? I mean uh, I have a, I have a log written away somewhere in my house about why I do certain things and what are the cues for it. Uh, it's basically like what you do in school. It's aim, method, process, and result so i kind of write down i didn't do that in school what you did in school no but if you had to get marks you had to do it right no i just had to copy from the guy next to me <laughs> i've done that a few times but at least remember that aim procedure and apparatus is a very important we i mean i'm glad you brought up ms dhoni because <clears throat> we're sitting in chennai so it's the law that every conversation it's apparently a local law now right every conversation must have at least 5 to 7 minutes of ms dhoni, MS dhoni? yeah <laughs> even, even the movies are like that now <laughs> isn't it just amazing how chennai has made him one of their sons boy from ranchi not it's really just, huh? it's it's just a, it's just a nature of tamil nadu yeah yeah most of our most of our cult heroes of not from our our state rajni sir rajni kant chennai is also one of those places where we are accepting to people yeah. we are very warm and hospitable yeah that is one thing that's your, yeah. your yes it's your already warm so you just need to be hospitable. <laughs> just hospitable that's all you need to do <laughs> let's let's talk about your test debut dream debut you'd say <laughs> Yeah. Yes. I would say I mean I would take that every day of my every yeah. day of my life every time I bowl. Do you remember who gave you your cap? Yeah, it was uh I think it was between me and Umesh Sachin and Lakshman gave the cap together. Yeah. So uh for me it was Sachin and for Umesh it was Lakshman who gave the cap. I think there's a, there was a confusion for a long time about who was 271 and who was 272. Then Umesh said, "I think you take one before. I think you deserve it. You stuck to two seven one. That's so sweet. <laughs> Not exactly the way it happened. It had to be coaxed into it. So, but I can clearly remo- remember the emotions because I played 2010 IPL and CSK won the title. Became the player of the tournament in Champs League in 2010. 2011 again, I was the player of the tournament, and people were always very supportive of me playing uh, white ball cricket for India. But when my selection came for red ball, it." A lot of people had their own reservations and opinions about whether this was the right thing to do. He is a white ball uh, cricketer who's been thrown into the mix, but a lot of people had forgotten the fact that I had actually picked up 140 first class wickets in 30 odd games. Yeah. I, I remember Anil, like, Anil Kumble actually telling me this: that half of Sachin's career went in trying to make people right, prove people right, and most of my career went in trying to pre- prove people wrong. So oh. it was it was it was very similar. And once I embarked on this journey and started becoming the bowler that I was. I realized that I actually had to uh prove it to people that it's good to be a bowler mm. because I constantly feel that nobody wants to be a bowler because it's actually labor class yeah whereas batting is like first class or business class so yeah. it's it's Blue more color white color exactly <laughs> and you want you want to inspire people picking up the ball you didn't have a jabagal shrinath who was one of the greatest ever becoming a superstar in india yeah correct you didn't have an anil kumble until he actually picked up 10 wickets and went on to get 600 wickets to get an anil kumble circle in bangalore so yeah. unless and until you actually treat people the way they need to be treated you're not going to inspire a generation to take up that art and the first thing actually virat said when he started taking over uh, the leadership of our test team was that he said bowlers are going to be the one that are going to run the team yeah. because i think bowlers are the ones that can win games hmm. and it's you guys that will make sure whether we are stars or superstars yeah So actually my first sport that I picked up was tennis because my grandfather used to love tennis mm. and I used to watch all tennis games with my granddad and uh, I actually didn't enjoy watching cricket on TV I would yeah. rather play it like in in Chennai it was like this every evening at 4 o'clock people are out on the roads playing cricket you know yeah. so it's just how it is ours was the first house in our entire locality to actually get star TV yeah because star TV was extremely expensive at that point of yeah. time and it was like probably 1/4 of my dad's salary then and my dad actually got it yeah uh, so that's my first experience of watching a match on tv yeah a 1992 world cup game but my initial sport was tennis my grand my granddad and dad decided that i can go to tennis because i 
had that old wooden racket. Yeah. I used to start tapping and started using my forehand and backhand and all that. One day as I was playing, one of the one of the cricket team coaches actually asked he he landed shot of people in the cricket team. So he came <laughs> out, he picked up people from the tennis court like three of us. Yeah. And we went and played a game next day. Uh, the coach actually felt I was better than most of the other people who come for cricket coaching. Yeah. So he went and spoke to my dad saying, "Why don't you just consider just getting him?" And that's how it happened. Because I didn't think bowling was any uh that was not your pursuit no i i didn't think i i would get anywhere as a bowler i yeah. really enjoyed batting <laughs> i was i just got my engineering admission then when i started playing premiership cricket and uh, but once i got <laughs> at the end of like one month i got a salary of 1005 rupees or something <laughs> and i said well yeah do they pay but those were the days and all of a sudden i i landed up i played i was very thankful that they gave me an opportunity to play in the games and on top of that they said here is your demand draft take a thousand <laughs> so i said well yeah that's good so i i spoke to my parents i said i deserve a cut of this so you need yeah. to pay me 500 rupees every month <laughs> and they were like it is it is quite innocent and it was quite enjoyable and when when i got when i was worried because my team got relegated although i had done well i had no idea that people will come and snap me up and all that so yeah. well, this is serious business this is like english premier league kind of business huh yeah, it's very popular even before our last game was over i got one mr Devakar Basu who's also played some sort of a representative he's played for India A and all that yeah. he said you should come over and play for my club and they've got they, they had two clubs the, the main club had players like P- Kulamani Parida Munaf Patel uh, Badrinath and as i landed there uh, they actually said we'll pay you a, a good amount of money because the offer i had got was for 7000 rupees yeah which i thought hell yeah i can actually <laughs> afford and bat and also have pocket money and you're 18 you know? at the time right yeah and i'm 17 and a half 18 and i said yeah. oh yeah sure 7 7 <laughs> and a half thousand great <laughs> It's great, and that sort of an attitude. And I go there, and the other guy, his name is Bharat Reddy. Obviously, I think you might have heard yeah. about him here and there. So uh, he said, "Play for my club. I'll pay you twenty thousand rupees." He said, "Twenty <laughs> thousand? Really? I, I just skipped a beat. I mean, my heart skipped a beat, and I went back home. And I, I spoke to my dad. I spoke to my mom, and like my dad immediately pulled me aside and said, "Look, that's a club. Yeah, sure, but I don't know what sort of a bowler you're going to be. I only know you as a batsman." and moreover there's a lot of people in the team and tomorrow if they want to go for the championship if you don't do really well in two or three games they might drop you so at this point of time you need game time rather than actually looking for money nice and eventually i said no i'm not going there i'm going to end up playing for the other club but at the same time there's engineering right you've got into engineering which and you finished it right so was there no temptation at the time for you saying all right man this is going to be a well. struggle it was a struggle actually yeah. to get my engineering done was a big struggle uh, i remember all odd semesters me having attendance in single digit percentage <laughs> yeah and uh, obviously my hall tickets my practical exams my records everything had to be a trade off and uh, i used to wait outside the staff room with my record and like people going across even my classmates used to keep looking at me just laughing it i used to be a sort of a la- i used to be a laughing stock in college <laughs> yeah My role number was 14 in class and they used they got into a habit of saying 13 and 15 you know yeah. they used to miss 14 because it's perennially not there so there has actually been a semester third semester where i had a percentage of 2 my attendance was 2 which also uh, did somebody say yes to number 14 by mistake or did you actually <laughs> no, i didn't turn up. i turned up i turned up for a day or two or something like that <laughs> or probably a few hours my yeah. college was like 40 kilometers from the city and uh, those were the days i'm just talking about a decade ago probably a decade and a more ago yeah how times have changed transport was a massive problem i mean yeah. i i left home before sunrise and came back when it was sunset yeah. and in between if i had to practice i actually needed to take uh, there used to be no bus so if i had to walk outside my college i had to i had to walk all the way inside and come out like 2 and 1/2 kilometers and stand outside for a van basically a vegetable or a fruit van <laughs> get on top of it and come to a town bus stand and then get another van or a lorry or something to come back inside the better part of the city then come outside and get into iit actually take lift from iit and get into the ground practice oh, and then my dad used to pick me up he had to travel 20 kilometers to get inside iit that's where my club was yeah and he used to pick me up and we used to come back home by 7 and this was like a daily routine and uh, Wow, that's hectic yeah it is it is really hectic you should just told the iit guys listen i'm coming here every day anyway just let me study here no? <laughs> that's the last thing i want to do actually <laughs> okay. i i realize your story is very like a film kind of story right met when they were kids didn't like she didn't like you first it's like 
boys. Yeah, Very she even classy. tells me now. She tells me so many times, I don't like you, I hate you. So <laughs> that doesn't, that is, she doesn't have a choice now. <laughs> so the the point, the point I'm trying to make is, I mean, I really liked her, but I somehow couldn't come to grips. It took me a year or two to actually have gather up the courage and go and talk to her and actually have a good conversation. I really liked her, but never really said that in school. Uh, but eventually, like life would have it, there is always destiny in it. Yeah. And uh, I'd been asking her to come out for uh, dinner for a very, very long time. And I think it was in 2010 when she actually said, okay, hesitantly. And before she said hesitantly, okay, I was there at the place that she was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, and we went for Flowers. dinner. And, and she actually started realizing that I was someone far different what she had what she had thought inside her head yeah but i don't think we could have dated and got on for very long it is good that we got married very quickly <laughs> what are you doing she's sitting right here <laughs> yeah because you're not even wearing a helmet what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> look i mean you have the choice when you're dating but you don't when you get married <laughs> which one of your daughters was born during you were playing a test match and there was a cyclone yeah, yeah, the second daughter, yeah. Second. It was in Chennai. I was in Chennai as well. Yeah. It was late by 30 minutes for the birth of my second daughter. Oh. <laughs> because she was supposed to deliver like at 7 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I was actually doing some media commitment. Yeah. And she all of a sudden, I'm just going into the labor room, left me a message. I knew, oh God, I needed to be there. And Chennai traffic was pretty heavy that evening. Yeah. And as I went, daughter was already there. I'm going to turn around and check whether that's accurate. That's not accurate, is it? No, he's not, right? <laughs> You should, uh, we'll get her into I give the... I think you the should get her into the show. Come, no, just come, no, please. On it. <laughs> I'll get her, we'll get the, can we get the bench? Do we have another mic? Okay, so now we have the boss present as well. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you've heard all that he's been saying. Yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how much of it has been the truth? Oh, the tru truth was, I think, about 50%. 8 and a half. I'm 8 being, and a half? I'm being like quite kind. Now, yeah, my yeah. second lead-up question that I raised, is that the most generous rating you've given to him in yes. any aspect? <laughs> it's usually like minus 5 or something. <laughs> Today, I'm just feeling very generous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's not yeah, pretty well. <laughs> so, the, we were talking about the, the, the delivery story, which you said that yeah. is a different version from the other end. Not too different. So he had some commitment, some shoot thing. Yeah. Which was uh, not too difficult to get out of, in my opinion. You've been in the media industry, media yeah, field. Yeah. Is it ever easy to get out of a shoot? Yeah, very easy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm buying coffee, though sadly, whatever you yeah. want after. Also, ever since I've become a producer, it's damn easy. I'm like, <laughs> sure. everybody go home. <laughs> Aaj sir ka mood nahi hai. Oh, that's a line you need to use. Aaj sir ka mood nahi hai. <laughs> that is like, please keep drinking Complan or something like that. <laughs> like you need to pull up face. No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not made that way. I'm not wired that way to say yeah. that. Yeah. I He's, like being... So, so he didn't nice say it that day. Because yeah. if he'd said it, he would have made it in time. So you're saying that he could have tried a little harder, yes. been a little unprofessional yes. and got No, out. not unprofessional. <laughs> that's a good way of putting it. See, as I told you, when I'm they just entered, neutral, Chennai, is, Chennai, the city is quite tiny. So, anywhere yeah. to anywhere should not take you more than, on a bad day, it's 40 minutes. On a great day, it's 12 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so... We had a really bad day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, do your daughters show the same sort of... Uh, One so of them does show straight like me. She's like that... Uh, she is. Yeah, that sort of devious One is like, sense of humor. Devious is too harsh. <laughs> Very. No, I mean, devious is right. It's not harsh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't she, mind. Like if you if, if my puppy is sleeping, she'll be like, oh, sleeping puppy. Ah, <laughs> so I hate she's... people. I hate to watch people sleep. And when I was young, I used to wake my father up, <laughs> and he just he would just cater to my needs. Yeah. You know, whatever I wanted, he would even give me a razor without blade so that I can keep shaving him, which I liked it. But <laughs> but like when it came to my mom, I knew she will hit me. Yeah. But I used to do it and try and escape all the time, and that's yeah. how. I, and I do it with her as well. And in the morning, I do it slightly more subtly because I love her. Yeah. I open the screen and allow the sun to come through inside. So, <laughs> oh on the God. one day I think I'll sleep in and the kids are not awake, he'll he'll wake up. Oh, I want to meditate. No, I Everybody wake up in the house. You know what? I love I, I love 16 degrees temperature in the AC and fan running in full tilt. Yeah. She loves 28 degrees in the AC. 28 degrees? 28 then degrees. Sleep outside. Oh, no, but it's sleep outside. You just found my weak spot and he's gonna like and, Kill it now. And she's actually, because I've been away, she's got her daughters to dance to the same tune. Yeah. My daughter like goes, can you put the fan down? Can you off the AC? I said, well, yeah, my life is sorted. Yeah. <laughs> the guest bedroom wants me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now, who is the who is the guys in the whole cricket fraternity that you get along with the most? Dinesh is reasonable. I have a very, I can have a very good conversation with Dinesh. Yeah. Why did he call you Ashley? There was some... That's uh, how he always called me. Yeah? So yeah, that's how, yeah, I, I mean, right from 
very very young you know, actually dinesh is an inspiration for me a lot of people don't know this because he was the rock star and yeah. everybody within the tamil nadu cricketing circuit knew that dinesh karthik was going to play for india in fact i believed he could be the next sachin tendulkar that's how i saw dinesh i used to go take my father go and see dinesh karthik play in those under 19 games and under 17 games and he just used to wow people you know i mean that factor where he used to steam roll bowlers just smash him and a good guy He's a, he's a nice guy and he could also be misunderstood just like me so we get along just fine. <laughs> yeah and uh, within the Indian team I get along really with Shikhar. Uh, he's a sweetheart man. He's actually he's actually a very different person than what the world makes yeah. of him too. He's very planned. He's actually pretty smart. He oh, doesn't yeah, yeah. he doesn't give that away. Yeah. He actually wants people to believe the contrary. I don't know why. Yeah. Pujara is a very good friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, he's probably the thickest. So if I come and ask him to play in a Chennai league game he will. Yeah. and come and bat with the same commitment and bore the bowlers for a day and a half just <laughs> he did that he does that he does it everywhere yeah. she's actually very good friends of uh, pujara's wife as well so we get along really well yeah, yeah. so nice. when's your wedding anniversary it's november 2011 date 11 oh no. yeah it's 12 oh, dude, because you got married wait, on wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we got married on 13th 12th was the reception double check myself so i i i remember it as a two day affair okay it's 12 and 13 <laughs> I remember the twelfth evening. We were just standing on the reception hall, and there were about ten thousand people that actually visited. Trying to cover up. He's trying to cover up now. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm I don't not know why I knew. Up. I don't know why I felt he's going to stumble at that question. You, you, you put me, put me under pressure, and yeah. I succumbed to it. Just... You know, till the end. So I was in. I never used to watch Test matches before yeah. till he made his. And he made his debut. The first game was right before we got married. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he just pulls this thing on me, saying, "Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it in time for the wedding." <laughs> you, can't can't phone phone one in, you can't phone that one in, bro. You can't phone that. I thought in. I had a lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> I can take five jokes in a day, and then sixth one I'll be like, it's not funny enough. Oh. Eighth one I'll be like, okay, you need to stop. <laughs> then I'll find another person. <laughs> and tenth is guest room. No, they're all sleeping like, in yes. the guest room tonight. <laughs> By the way, the place we're sitting in is called Willows, and I'll get you the two Willows that outside is <laughs> the handle. I'm so happy. I like literally, I had no idea about this. Little being so much fun, devilish side of you. <laughs> you're just doing, you're just doing all these things to get a reaction and to get a rise. Yeah. And I love that after so many years, he still manages to get that he from does. you. He does. It I annoys mean, this me. Morning like, I that. get annoyed with myself. I'm like, why? Like, why do you respond? With yeah. Why flighted the ball? Don't come out of the crease. Don't <laughs> come out of the crease. Don't. Oh no, stumped again. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Fantastic. This is amazing. This is super fun. Let's go. Hi, this is Ara Shwin and you're watching me on Breakfast with Champions. And uh, please like and share this video and also subscribe to Oktree Sports for many more interesting champion sessions. And uh, ring the bell you have to tell people to ring the bell icon also then. Okay, ring the bell icon. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> Ring the bell. Stock market is open. Not Day's like play begins. <laughs> Not like Eden Gardens or Lords. Just <laughs> ring it. Just ring the bell. Thank you. Thanks, Karav. Cheers. Awesome. Done. Easy.